Yo, what's going on folks, Retrospective Dave here, and welcome to part two of my legit check of the Military Blue Air Jordan 4. Now what's different about this legit check is that I will be comparing three of the major factory codes that help produce this sneaker, and those factory codes are LN3, LN4, and LNM. Now this video is specifically for those of you that were unable to secure a pair for retail, so you ordered your pair from StockX, GOAT, or Flight Club, and by doing so, you would have received one of these three versions. I know that there's an SZ version out there that's rumored to be a thing. Unfortunately, I do not know the uh, information on that shoe at the moment, so I can't speak to it in this video, but as soon as I find out more information about the SZ version, I will post an updated video. Also, um, expect me to cover a lot of ground in this video as well. I will be talking about the YCM stickers, the production dates, the insoles, the footbeds, uh, the box labels. I will also be talking about the black lighting and which parts glow and which ones don't. So if you're into that type of content, definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. Also smash the like button and enough of the intro. Let's get to the info. So first, let's start with the insoles. So regardless of which factory code you have, the sizing stickers will be oriented below the Nike logo. And that's assuming, of course, that the shoes are dead stock. Sizing stickers can easily be removed or fall off. So that doesn't necessarily make or break the authenticity of your shoe. But as you can see here, the placement of the sticker is standard across the different factory codes. All right, looking at the different footbeds, all three have similarities, including the woven footbed, the tape, and the off-white threading. But one feature that I like to highlight is the corresponding size on the footbed. And I've received several questions about this as well in previous videos. So each shoe should have your shoe size on the footbed. If you're looking at the right shoe, it will be to the right. And if you're looking at the left shoe, then your shoe size will be to the left. And this brings me to the inconsistency. So the LN3 pair has the shoe size on the footbed, but it's very faint compared to the LN4 and the LNM pairs. Keep in mind that this may not be the case if we were looking at the left shoe. So if you're having a hard time seeing your shoe size on the footbed, then just check the other shoe to see if the shoe size is more visible. Now, as I stated in previous legit check videos, your production dates will be the same on your left and right shoe 90% of the time. And that is the case with these three pairs here. Keep in mind, there's always a possibility of your left and right shoe having mismatching dates, but it's becoming less and less common nowadays. All right, folks, when it comes to the shape between these three shoes, it's very similar for the most part. The LNM has a slightly lower profile than the LN3 and the LN4 pair. And you can see that difference here when you're looking at the back of the shoes. Obviously, the LNM is a lot shorter than the LN3 and the LN4, whereas the LN3 and LN4 have similar height. I would say that this is due to the differences in the size more than the differences in the factory codes, as the LNM is a half size smaller than the other two. So another question I've been asked is, does the Military Blue 4 come with a YCM sticker and the answer at least for these three pairs is no and there are also no additional stickers or stamps underneath the box lid or underneath the box itself so if you receive a pair with a YCM sticker then I think that it's safe to question the authenticity of that shoe and if you understand the purpose of the YCM sticker and what it prevents then it doesn't make sense for some pairs to have it and others don't as far as the shoe paper goes all three versions come with the cement shoe paper and the smaller white piece of paper as well the cement shoe paper does have a tannish off-white color to it it's not completely white but if you flip the paper over then the paper is much closer to white. All right, looking at the box labels, the numbers on the barcode should be the same for all pairs except for the six digits highlighted here. These six digits are only exclusive to the size that you wear. So if you wear a size 11 and a half, every single size 11 and a half out there should have the same barcode numbers. And that goes for everyone that wears a size 12, size 10, size nine, so forth and so on. And last but not least, when you put the black light to these shoes, the only parts that will illuminate are the borders between the lace loops, maybe the back tabs, depending on how close you have the light to it. Um, you will have some glue stains that will light up as well and the air unit. All right, and that concludes my legit check on the Military Blue Air Jordan 4 and the LNM, LN3, and LN4 factory code. If you got something useful out of this video, definitely hit the like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. We are on our road to 10K subscribers, so I'm trying to hit that by the end of the summertime. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload similar content like this. And as always, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.